By you're right. By PEMDAS, you oh. can't do that, can you? Yeah. Right. If, okay. Yeah. Why doesn't that work though? <clears throat> because in this equation, if we're going to come up with h, it has to be the square root of that squared plus that squared. But by PEMDAS, mm -hmm. you can't add these up until after you've already applied the exponents. Right? You see what I'm saying? So if we come back here, yeah, we can't do that because 3 minus x quantity squared is something completely different than or 3 minus x plus 1. So 4 minus x quantity squared, that is not equal to 3 minus x quantity squared plus 1 squared. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You buy that? I buy it. Okay. I buy it. So then we end up with uh, the quantity 3 minus x squared plus 1 squared over 4. We could simplify the top. You guys can just simplify that for me. You can do that. What's 3 minus x squared plus 1? 3 minus x plus um, x squared minus 2x plus 10. Plus 10. Plus 10. Plus 10. Oh, so say it again. 9. So 9 minus 6x plus, plus x squared plus 1 is 10. 10. So that's T sub L, right? So then all we've got to do here is just add those two times together. Look what we're going to get. We're going to get a function, you know, this plus this, right? Which is admittedly kind of ugly, but it's in one variable, which is nice, right? And so we don't have to come up with actually a secondary equation or some constraint on this one, right? We just have to do calculus. So maybe the last step before I would, I'm, I'm going to let you guys do the calculus, but if we do overall time, so we'll call this T of X, right? Does that make sense? Time is a function of where we hit the coast. That's equal to, uh, let's see, why don't, well. T of W plus T of L. Uh, I mean, it's easier, but on the second hand, it's also really not. I mean, because you get two radicals, that kind of sucks, right? Yeah. Uh, plus... Yeah. Yeah, well. Okay, let's look at our domain. What are the reasonable, what's our independent variable here? X. X. So what are the values that would make sense here for us to choose for our, our domain for X? I mean, because uh, we can be reasonable. Not, nothing. That's all we need. Oh, well, reasonable. Okay, positive. Right? I mean, there's no, it would, obviously we're not going to go backtrack. I mean, that's ridiculous. We know that's not going to work. We know we're not going to overshoot, right? So, so what, what's the domain? Three. Zero. Zero to three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that including or excluding? Well, you could include them. It's fine. Do you think either of those is going to be the right answer? No. No. I mean, it's, but we'll see. He walks faster than you. He does. So yeah, I know. Makes sense to just go straight. But I know, but when you go at a curve, then you're also there's a really cool video that I really think we should watch because it's like exactly like this. Why isn't he traveling? Yeah, we can. Why is he no. yeah. I, I figured I maybe should bring that up with Mr. Can he swim faster than he does? No. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Irrelevant. Uh, so, so what this is, well, okay, while we're, while we're on this, what I want to tell you, what's really cool about this, the physics of this. The physics is that you can look at, uh, well, like you notice, What's an example you guys could relate to? Well, wearing glasses. Like, you know, anytime you want to use, like when you wear glasses, what are you really doing? You're just bending light so that it focuses in the right place on your eye, correct? Uh, if you look into a swimming pool, and, and let's say you're going to go spear fishing in a swimming pool. Uh, <laughs> and so when, when you see a fish swimming around in the water, do you aim right at the fish? I've never you been don't. Fishing. You, well, okay, you wouldn't <laughs> though. You cool. wouldn't though because if you look into a pool at something that's under the surface, it appears to be at the wrong depth, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? It appears to be shallower than it really is, and so in actuality, you would want to aim below the spear, below the fish, right? A little oh, bit. Yeah. That's why it's so hard to catch fish with your camera. 
Right, right. I don't know that's that's slimy. Slimy. Plus, they're slimy and they're fast. So yeah. there's there's lots yeah. of reasons, but that's one reason. Right. So so what's going on there? Why is the light bending like that? The light is being that's called refraction. Okay, reflection. We know what reflection is. Reflection is when light. It reflects off the surface, but refraction is when light is bent as it passes from one medium to another medium, right? There's a really cool, there's, there's some interesting ways you can talk about, one thing I just love about physics, you can prove different things by exploiting different properties of, in physics. Like, for example, we can exploit the wave property of light, because light can be considered both particle and a wave, depending on how you look at it. We can exploit the wave property, and, and we can talk about the differences in the speed at which light travels through different media, but the frequency is going to stay the same, which means that the wavelength changes, right? And so what we could do is we can just look at the fact that light is traveling slower through glass than it is through air, and this would be like the boundary between air and glass, or air and water, right? There's a good model for that. Imagine you're driving a car, and you're driving along the blacktop, and let's say you veer off the road into the soft sand on the right side. What's going to happen to your car? It's probably going to overcorrect and die. Okay, but say, <laughs> say, say you don't correct. What's going to happen to your car? You're going to be That's traveling along right. this line, and when you hit the sand, it's, it's going to pull you off at an angle, isn't it? Right? Because you travel more slowly through the sand than you do through on the pavement, oh, okay. right? It, that's refraction in a way. So the same thing's going on here. Your car's driving along. Uh, let's see, it's going to be, it's going to be, let's see here, this would be actually, okay, this, so we got, it's, it'd be the opposite way. So this would be the air and that would be the water, let's say, right? So we're going to reverse the process, right? So when the tires hit the sand, it causes you, it's a slower medium, and so you veer into that medium, right? So then why does, if this is the, it's upside down once again, this is the air and that's the water, right? Why does the fish appear to be more shallow than he actually is? Well, because we, as far as we know, light travels in a straight line, right? And so this light appears to be coming from right there instead of down there. So we perceive the fish to be that depth instead of that depth. See how that works? What determines, in this problem, what would determine, all else being equal, where you're going to aim? You, to which you can travel? It's, yeah, the speeds, right? Because if the speeds were the same, we would have just gone in a straight line, right? But it's because they're different that we had to aim someplace different, right? The bigger the discrepancy, so the, the, the bigger the ratio between the speed here and the speed there, that's going to determine, the, the more that's the case, the bigger that ratio, the further x is going to get sucked to the left. Right? Which is the same thing like saying if the index of refraction, which in physics is the word that we give to the, the, the number that describes how fast light travels through something. So if you have a really high index material, light's going to travel more slowly, right? And that's going to bend the light more severely. So if you want to, you know, if you really want to bend light, then you're going to use a high index uh, material, right? And so, like, if you buy, if you go shopping for glasses and you want to spend the extra money, do you want to get the thin lenses that are going to do the same amount of refraction as the thick lenses? Well, what's going on? They're just going to be a higher index material, right? Make sense? Okay. All right. Good. I think, I think you're good. You want to? You want to do another one? Or you want to work? Do you want me to find that video? Or not? Uh, let me just tell me. Yeah, tell me. You know, let me just let me just take a quick preview up here, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with that. You want to go Thursday? I wouldn't mind giving, maybe having one more day to go through one more problem in here. That's fine. We'll go Thursday, but Thursday is gonna be though. That's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paper and pencil. Yeah. Oh, yes. So paper and pencil. And, and what's what's that mean? What am I really looking for here? The word. 
I want the process. So the process of doing the optimization is pretty easy. That's pretty straightforward, right? Draw a picture, assign variables, primary equation, if necessary, secondary equation. But we didn't need it for this one. Didn't need it, you're right. And then what do we do? Solve. Then we, yeah, then we just do the calculus, which involves making a table, right? And doing the calculus and then interpreting the results, right? That's it. Okay. How do you want us to like, if, wait, 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 wait